Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Bopperai Engineers. Our today's topic is power factor in AC power system. In this video we discuss about various definitions and calculations related to power factor. Power factor is defined as the cosine of the angle between voltage and current. Ideally, in AC circuits, the phase difference between voltage and current is zero. But, practically there exists some phase difference between the voltage and current. The cosine of the phase difference between the voltage and current is defined as the power factor. Its two types are First one is lagging power factor Second is leading power factor In an electrical circuit, when the load current lags behind the supply voltage, it is called lagging power factor Inductive loads such as coils, motors and lamps are main cause of lagging power factor. If the load current is ahead of the supply voltage in phase, then it is called leading power factor. Capacitor banks and synchronous condensers are capacitive loads that have a leading power factor. If the cosine of angle between voltage and current is same then it is called unity power factor. Next move to calculations related to power factor. Detailed video of power factor control panel wiring is available on my YouTube channel. First we discuss how to calculate power factor. Power factor is like a glass of beer, which contains some real power and reactive power. Look at an example. Foam in glass react like a reactive power. Beer is react like a real power. And glass with beer and foam look like a apparent power. Formula to calculate power factor is real power divided by apparent power. It means that power factor is equal to kilowatt divided by kilo volt ampere. Suppose if you're running KW is 70 and KVA is 80. Then your power factor is 0.875. In last we learn how to calculate required capacitor value as per power factor. This is a multiplication factor table for the required capacitor bank which is easily available on Google. It have two different heading, first is initial power factor, and second is target power factor. Formula for calculate required capacitor is full load kilowatt multiply by multiplying factor. Look at an example. Suppose if we have 10 kilowatt load, our running power factor is 0.7, and target power factor is 0.99.
then according to chart multiplying factor is 0.878. So required capacitor is equal to 10 into 0 0.878. After calculation value of required capacitor is around 9 kvar. Video related to different types of panel meter are coming soon. Thanks for watching the video, press the bell icon and subscribe the channel for latest technical videos.